this is a review of the Anchor Power Station. We know Jackery makes it, and we know other company copying, but I do not know who came out first. But here we are. Now I do believe Anchor makes a lot of product. What come the most popular one that they make are the Solex F3800. That's a big beast compared to this. And but I just want to compare and review what I think about this device. Now this device you're able to have multiple input, and just like you saw, this device. First flaw is caught on camera. It automatically that turns off. It does not stay on for you. Okay, so that means you had the AC power on right here. It will turn off regardless what you do, right? Now, the other problem it has is when you have a pretty much a 19 volt watt plug into a power strip. You would think this device will start、uh, detecting the voltage that tells you, "Hey, estimate the runtime is X and Z." But no, don't work like that. Okay, so just let you know. You see that it still thinks only two watt. Well, this light may be two watt, but what what happened to this port? What happened to the AC port? So it's very annoying, and you got your car charger right here. And for that, this unit is a problem. Now, what's good about it is if you have a power surge, this device probably gonna be able to come handy. That you know, or power brown outage, or they call a blackout. This device probably can handle the current. You know that fluctuates, so your modem that doesn't have to constantly reboot, and then you have to worry about.、It. And now look, it finally show up. What is what? You know, it's this definitely needs work for sure. You know, it definitely it needs a work. It does not take the standard the TX sixty solar input. You have to have some. Special kind of DC amp. Just let you know that looked like a laptop input. Okay. Yes, you're able to use this port as in as well as out, so you can charge this unit with the USB-C power adapter. But this device, I personally. Do not think this worth the price. I think it's a gimmick. What I believe is this device could potentially a great backup temporarily, but as a long term, you can't depend on it. And I think Anchor is very, you know, just my opinion. Anchor is not there yet when it's come to that. Like for example, I was charging this iPhone, right? I left it on charger. I thought maybe by the time I come back, it'll be fully charged. But no, it just all of a sudden decided to stop charging. Why? Why anger? Why did you make this? You this probably is you know one of it, your lower end quality device. Your power bank is great. I have your anchor print.、Uh, Anchor Prime. I bought them. The that thing works great. It do what it says, but the only thing it has problem with it can't handle both charging in and out on it because soon as you plug it in, for some reason, the DC to the import and turns off. The DC output on the Prime, but we're not talking about that. So anyway, Anchor, you got a thing to do. You got a thing to work. So I'm just saying, 
this device will be returned back to where I got it because I don't really care for it. I don't think it's reliable. You know, it just random shutdown. We don't need that. When there's power outage, I don't want to have to come back over here, push that button. I thought, oh, maybe the battery is out of the juice, but no, it still has percentage in there. And I just had to keep pushing that. Maybe this little daggone switch right here, the power saving mode right here. I'm not sure what this thing about, right? What is that? Power saving? Maybe that's what it is. That's what's doing it. But still. Anyway. I would say if next time you build. Build the one with the standard solar. So that you can use a TX. Cord. So I don't have to buy adapter. You're not Apple. So stop copying Apple. So anyway. Thanks for watching. I uh, hopefully this video helps you. I'm sure there's a lot of sponsor from other company, but Anchor, I don't need your sponsor. I buy it and I return it if I have to, because the honest opinion means more than people that paid to talk about your product. I do like a lot of your product, but this ain't the one. Got it? So if you ask me what product I like about yours, your Anchor Power PD uh, 65 watt charger is excellent. I like I like them. It's a good alternative replacement. And your Anchor Prime, it needs a little bit of work when it's powering with with the T-Mobile Home Internet. I would love to see you work on that. Now, the other thing I have, your system with the uh, Anchor Solex F. 3800 a lot of great review but a lot of under de uh, delivered as well uh, reason why I'm talking about it on this video is because personally the F 3800 it's a great product I seen it I play with it I would love to have a anchor home panel to integrate to the you know ecosystem with the solar right so if our house is already has solar with in face I would like to see integration with them something that you guys can work on and anchor you're doing a pretty good job for making for the last five years you pushing all those product product out but your customer service is decent it's not a greatest and it, it could needs to work and this video might sound complaining but you guys need to hear those things because company like anger it's America you know um, but a lot of product is you know first I thought it was from China but a lot of customer service is very good from America so I'm from China so I really can't Run my mouth too much but the thing is it's good to have in the state where you live to support your own and to support your own society for workforce men a workforce if you know what I mean but anyway thanks for watching remember I'm nobody I'm just opinion everybody have one everybody got a butt everybody's butt stinks so take for a grain of salt so thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. I appreciate for stay long for nine minute a video. Peace out.